Hi everyone and you're so much welcome to today's tutorial and I still remain your most wealthy show making made easy tutor Oduro Lemojibola. Today I'm simply going to be showing you how I actually arrange the sole of this beautiful sander. Now if you're watching this for the first time all I do on this channel is make shoe making easy for you. I teach you how to make it simply using simple tools right from the comfort of your home. So don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. I'm sure you want to see the details of how this particular you know soap was being put together I'm sure you want to see. I need you to do something for me. Just sit back and I'm going to be right back. Now, I found out that most times we do not know how to introduce our business. Let's walk through this together in this video. Go ahead to the comment section, introduce your business, and I will help you to work on your introduction process. All right, I'm going to actually be adding this particular top heel. Now, it's majorly wooden. The sole I'm using is actually a rubber sheet. So I cut it into the shape of um, my size, the size that I actually want. I've thought on how to wet, you know, your rubber sheet or whether your leather. So I've already thought on how to wet on this channel. And I'll try as much as possible to keep it on the screen while you watch so that you can just click and then watch it or you go ahead and then check it at the end of this video because if you don't um, actually watch this on my youtube you might not be saying this so you need to watch on the youtube to be able to see it apply your contact cement adhesive all over i actually bought the top heel the one right there i bought it here you can see what it looks like i bought it here at about um, 1200 naira which is about two dollars so now that it's dry just fix it appropriately at the back of that my you know rubber sheet that rubber sheet is actually called nora in nigeria it's nora 4. when you talk about nora 4 nora 3 they are just talking about the 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 thickness the thickness you can see that i've already welted so please i have already thought on this that's why i didn't actually go through this again on this channel on uh, during during this video so there are actually a lot of things to learn make sure you hammer it of course i'm going to also use nail to hold them down together so it's not like i'm just going to use only my contact adhesive i'm going to use my nail to hold it down to that particular top heel so this is me trying to actually grind the edges now i have found out that so many times we are scared of actually the grinding machine over grinding what we actually want to you know grind but i need you to know that this you have to do gently as long as you you you, you put it gently you can see the way i'm trying to just um you know navigate around it don't be afraid one important thing is you must hold it down confidently hold whatever you want to grind the ed edges if you don't hold it down proper and pro, um, perfectly the grinding stone might actually tilt it off your hand and that's all so now that i'm through with that i'm going to use my dye my ink some call it ink but some call it dye a black dye you understand it's a leather dye actually i'm going to apply it like twice apply it in the first instance allow it to dry then apply you know again just for it to have that same um, dark look you understand that perfectly dark look all around it so after that i'm going to apply my polish of course it has some wax so i'm going to use it on the edges then get you know like um um a material you can use something like um wipe a dry wipe can actually do this and then if you have um a cloth too I, I will not suggest a cotton, a, a fully cotton cloth might not um, do that effectively well. But you need something like um, what I'm holding. You know all these are polo dresses, the material. Okay, I forgot the name of that material. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to be using for the edges. You just take your time. You apply heat. That's what you are doing. Sorry for that. Well, our camera is intending to scatter all the job. <laughs> so don't mind me please so what exactly am i trying to do am i trying to apply it on the edges so that we can have a shining look see 
this is the major work as far as this soil is concerned if you can take your time as you're applying it you can use your lighter use it to hit all of the edges it's just to uh, make it shine the more heat you apply in the process of doing this that i'm doing presently and using that particular fabric on it the more shining look and a glossy look you are going to end up achieving so this is nothing to worry about. don't forget you can use this for any kind of sole it doesn't matter what kind of shoe or footwear you are creating you can actually do this you can see you can see that the look is gradually changing you can see it you can see it you can see that it's gradually changing so i'm going to just take my time to do all of this so thank you for joining me today i want to believe you have enjoyed this so make sure you make an attempt you can see there's difference between the side that i've applied and the side that i've not applied one is shiny one is looking very dull so thank you once again for joining me today and um, i still remain your shoe making made easy to talk bye